Hey guys, all right. I have a follow-up video finally for y'all that um, to my Moxie Lash, my magnetic eyeliner video that I did a few weeks ago, um, maybe months ago now, uh, and I did not purchase the Moxie Lash lashes. The whole kit was around $75 to get a pair of lashes and the eyeliner, and so I didn't do it. I, I really, okay, let me, let me confess. I really did not think that it was going to work, and so I thought, well, I'll just spend my $35 on the eyeliner, try it out with some existing magnetic lashes that I have, and tell y'all that it doesn't work. Well, I was wrong. It worked. And so I had, in the comments, I had a lot of you suggest the Eyelure magnetic lashes, and I have to say, in the box, these are beautiful. <laughs> they are so pretty. I don't know what that would look like on because you get uppers and lowers and both of those are super fluttery thick. I'm just going to be using the uppers. I'm not going to be putting both on. I'm just going to need the uppers to look so weird since I don't have any mascara on. I just now looked at myself. Um, okay, so we're about to fix that. We're going to try these on and see what happens. All I have done is put a little mascara on my lower lashes. And just like always, when you're going to wear magnetic lashes, you want to start out with a base coat of your regular mascara. This is not my regular mascara. This is one that I got in the Walmart, um, the beauty subscription box. Uh, this is by CoverGirl. I do not like it. Don't like it at all. I don't know why I have it in here in my YouTube room, but I do. And so let's see if we can get some of this to stick to my lashes. Actually, no, let's curl them first because we want to do that. So just curl your lashes. It's going to help lift up the magnetic lashes a little bit. So, okay. So, I've curled my natural lashes. We're gonna put a coat of, doesn't really matter, I just need some mascara so that my little hairs can stick. You'll see that in a minute. I do not like this mascara. All right, I think that it has like three coats of mascara. Still can't hardly see that I have any lashes at all, and they're curled, so. Okay, <laughs> here is our Moxie Lash Liner, and I'm just going to use an angled eyeliner brush. It did not come with a brush, so we're going to use my own. You do get a nice size pot. I mean, you can see how big that is, and it's full, uh, and I've just used this a few times, and there's just a tiny bit out of it, so pick up some on our brush. And that's a nice deep black color and get it lined on there. Okay, so you're supposed to, even though the directions that came with my Moxie Lash do not say to wait at all, um, when I posted my last video, I had a lot of you comment and say, you're supposed to wait and let it dry. I've heard it everywhere from two minutes to 10 minutes to 30 minutes. We're gonna let it dry while I do the other eye. I can be looking at an eye look and think, mm, not sure if I like that or not. And then you put your liner on and your lashes and then you're like, oh, okay, not so bad. I kind of like it. I might do that again tomorrow. Okay, so it's been four minutes since I've finished with this eye and then now we still have to open the package. So that should buy us a little more time. These are still sealed up. So let me see if I can get in here and get these open. These are $16.99 from Ulta, although this week they were on sale for $10.19. So they come in this little box. Um, they do come with an applicator. I've never had good luck with those. We'll see what happens. There are three magnets on each piece. The lower lashes have the magnets on the top side so that they would sandwich to the one above them. Uh, so we're not gonna use that because we need the magnet facing the bottom side. So we're gonna use the top row. Um, these on the top are a little thinner than the ones on the bottom. I bet you these are gorgeous. We might just have to put these on. I'm not good at putting magnetic lashes on when they haven't been chopped up into little pieces because I have that video on how to do that. Um, but these are three magnets, so 
to chop those up might be a little more difficult. I'm afraid to chop these up, so we're not, that's not even what our video is about. It's about using these top lashes, and that's what we're gonna do. Can you tell I'm trying to stall? Um, it's been six minutes now since we finished this lash. Okay, so, you know, naturally, when you're looking at your lashes, you want the tapered part on the inside of your eye. These have a taper, and they're long and fluffy on the outside edge. So here we go, let's try it and see what happens. Probably not a good idea to use magnetic lashes with a metal pair of tweezers, but these I just, I can't ever, I don't do good with those. Okay, so here we go, let's see. I'm gonna do these just like I would do a normal lash and try to get the center. Situated first. Okay, this little piece right here does not wanna stick. Maybe that did. Okay, aha, it's stuck. I'm just gonna tap them down. Ah, that's not working. That's not working at all. Okay, let's try. I'm gonna try to shape it a little bit more. Just bend it this way so it's a little more bent to a normal eye shape. We will try the little plastic things that it came with to put it on. So there we go, and we're gonna set it in place. That end does not wanna stick, so I'm gonna pick up some more and see if I can do this without taking it all off. Now this I've not let dry, so let's see if there's a difference. And now I just pulled the whole thing off. When I did it before, I did not let it dry and everybody was like, you have to let it dry. And it still worked for me, so I don't really know. To me, it's not working as good. Now that I've let it dry. It works better when it's wet, I think. Mm -mm. I cannot get this little inside piece. This inside piece is not wanting to stick. And that, I can feel it, and that's bugging me. Let me scooch the whole lash, and it's just barely, barely there. I've heard that these work really well with this, but for me, it is not. I don't know why. I don't have to sing that, but they're not, they're just laid up there. That's not working at all. Let's try the other lash. Now that that's had plenty of time to dry, that's been 16 minutes since we put it on here. And we've released it. Stick it to the moxie lash. Okay, nope, steal that inside piece. I don't know how well that's gonna work. Let me try to smush them. Mm -mm. I really wanted that to work, y'all, because those lashes are so beautiful. But I'm gonna be honest, that's not gonna work. Let me zoom out because I think I'm having focusing problems. Okay, so I could get it on there where it would stay just long enough for probably me to take a decent picture but this guy is not gonna stay on your eye. You're gonna, if you wear that out somewhere, you're gonna lose your lashes. They're gonna fall off and you are not gonna know what happened to your $16.99 lash. That doesn't work. That didn't work at all. I had way more success with the Kiss magnetic lashes um, than these. These are beautiful lashes. I think the position of the magnets, uh, they don't really want to grab on to the moxie lash. I mean, I can, like I said, I can get it sitting here, not moving, pushing down, tapping. Oh, look, see, <laughs> just popped off anyway. Ah, oh, yeah, that's just not working. 
So if you guys know what I'm doing wrong, please let me know because I know the last time that, you know, y'all said I didn't let it dry long enough, even though the directions don't say anything about drying, um, I didn't let it dry and so I have since then heard you're supposed to do that. We have definitely let this dry and I can lay them up there. You couldn't wear this out in public. I mean, this is that's just sitting on my lashes is all that's doing. I have a video on how to cut magnetic lashes, the Ardell ones, because they have four, four little magnets. These only have three, so if you cut it into chunks, you probably could still get away with it. Just the ones that I have cut, I cut one little piece on the end and then the Ardell had two magnets in the center, so I left that little chunk and then cut the end off and put them on in pieces and that works. Uh, we're gonna try this and see if we can get these on because these are beautiful lashes, so I'm definitely gonna get my use on, out of them. I just don't know if I need to cut them up first. So I'm gonna lay it up there in position Hopefully it's not going to stick to my eyelid now because I don't want it to. I want to try and put this on. I'm going to try to shape it a little bit. And we want the flare out towards that end and then the inside to go match up with the inside. <laughs> I don't do good with magnetic lashes. Somebody commented on one of mine and said that if you can get the, on one of my videos about the magnetic lashes, you lay this up here underneath and hold it in place, which that freaks me out to do, but we'll try it. And then you take the top piece and come down on it. Well, that does work a little bit. I mean, the inside is not perfect, but that's pretty close. Oh, maybe. Okay, let's try it on this side. There's a little tiny piece sticking out. Something is bothering my eye. I have to, I might, I might try another stab at that here in a second. So we take this, yeah, that's just not attached at all. And we, oh, that is so weird to come underneath first. No, how do you not stick yourself in the eye? Oh, okay. <laughs> we try it with tweezers and hold it up there. Uh uh. Now I've lost it. Underneath first, and then this is so weird. But how do you get the inside? I can't do it. My hands have to be back far enough so I can see what I'm doing. Come on. Yeah, that's usually what happens. <laughs> Ugh, this video is just like a mess. This has failed on all accounts. And this is kind of stinging. If we do it like that, will it stick? <laughs> <laughs> Will it stick to the lashes? Try this one more time and then I'm just gonna glue some on. Okay, I may glue these on. Coming underneath, we've done that, and then take the top lash and then come down. <clears throat> Get it in position. I wonder if I could close my eye and hold it there better. Let's try that. And then take this. It's just falling off. Uh, we're still nowhere near. <sighs> One last stab, you guys, and this is it. Okay, to remove them, you don't pull. You just roll your thumbs apart like that, or fingers, thumbs, whatever you want to do. Let's try this one last time. And then close my eye. See, I've got it way too, it needs to come over. And it's starting to irritate my eye. I can tell my eye's getting red. Okay, so keep your eye closed to try to hold it in position. Take the top one, come down, oh. Come down with it and then pinch them together and hope that your bottom lash is not sandwiched in there. 
All right, that's the closest that I can get, and that's bad. Uh, see this kind of hanging off? So I think what we'd have to do is just cut these up, which is the way that I've always done them. Let me get my scissors. I'm gonna just cut these up. Let's do it. Ugh, they're falling off, and this is actually kind of pulling on my lashes. Ouch. Ouch. Arr! This is gonna bug me. I've gotta get that off too. Okay, so let me set those two aside. What we're gonna do is make sure that you have the top lash, which would mean the, the magnets are on the bottom piece. The top lash, we're gonna leave alone. It's gonna sit up there on its own. Maybe it'll stay there while I do this. We'll see. Nah, I'm gonna put it over here to the side because I don't wanna lose it. If it falls on my floor, it will be gone. Now, the bottom piece is the one that we're gonna cut. This one, your magnets. Your magnets should be on the top side. So just look closely and you'll be able to tell that the magnets are facing up and that is the piece that we wanna chop up. There are just three magnets here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut this into three pieces. We're gonna see how this is work, gonna work. I've never chopped up a three magneted lash. So we're gonna cut this into threes. Uh, we're just gonna make two cuts. So let me get my scissors. There goes the first one. We're committed. Oh, terrible. Okay, so all three pieces are about this big. So here we have the lash the top lash because the magnets are facing downward. So we're gonna just place that where we want it. Totally ignoring the moxie lash situation that did not work at all. Laying them in position. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my metal tweezers because I feel like I have more control with that. And you're going to start with your piece that was on the end because you want your magnet that's on the end to line up with this magnet here. So here we go. Hold it down and come from underneath. Okay, and then just pop that in position. Inside piece, the inside corner, same kind of thing. Hold it in position, come from underneath until those magnets, you can feel them, snap into place. And then middle chunk, Line it up and come on you, you're the last little piece. Perfect, perfect application. That's how you get your magnetic lashes to work with your magnetic eyeliner. <laughs> you just cut them up into pieces and snap them together. Forget this, okay? So same thing, cut the other side up. Make sure you cut the bottom piece and not the top piece. So let me just double check. On the end, there's a tiny, tiny little piece of clear plastic that's sticking out. Can y'all see that maybe right there? I'm gonna trim that off, just like I would on normal lashes, because I don't like anything that's gonna poke on the inside of my eye. Okay, so now there are three, three magnets. One, two, three. So I'm gonna divide this <clears throat> pretty much into three equal sections. Uh, just make two cuts is all you're having to do. Gonna place this lash on the top. Now it's kinda wanting to stick to that eyeliner a little bit. Not enough to keep it in place though, I can guarantee you. All right, so I'm gonna start, you're looking at your piece that has the magnet on the very end, so that lets me know it's gonna be the very end piece that's gonna match up with the magnet on the end here. I'm gonna push that down and hold it into place while I come from underneath and lay that up there. And that's it. Let's do the inside corner because that's the hardest part. Picking that up with my tweezers. And I'm gonna hold it in position, not up there at my eyebrow. Hold it in position, come underneath where it's sandwiching my natural lashes and it just snaps into place. So perfect. And then we just finish with the middle piece and come from underneath here. Lay it in there. Y'all, <laughs> don't even fool. Okay. If you wanna know the truth, don't even fool with trying to get magnetic lashes on. I mean, you saw me try to do it the normal way. You saw me try to hold it in position, slide the top one down. None of that worked. You're gonna to have to cut them up. 
I mean, that's just what you're gonna have to do. And if you're trying to use these gorgeous eye loop, I mean, look at these, how beautiful those lashes are. Moxie Lash Eyeliner with the gorgeous Allure Lux Magnetic Lashes in the Baroque style do not work together, okay? Um, so these are just the Baroque Lashes applied kinda normally, no, not normally, you have to hack them. So we used my hack to cut them up and make them stick because that is the only way, in my opinion, to work with magnetic lashes and make them look legit. Uh, I don't even think this is worth it. I mean, this with, with this combination, no. With the Kiss Magnetic Lashes and the Ardell Lashes, yes, it worked. Um, but I kinda think it's a gimmicky thing. If you're gonna buy the Magnetic Lashes, you really don't need this. All you have to do is cut these up into your three little pieces and snap them on. These are gonna stay on and I don't have to worry about if this is actually gonna adhere well enough. It's not going to be stuck on there. I would not wear this to shoot a wedding or really even shoot anything because um, I'm a photographer and so my camera is smashed up against my lashes all day long. So I really need an adhered, glued on lash. So for me, I don't know what occasions I would wear this for. Maybe a date night or um, maybe if I'm not gonna shoot, which is, never gonna happen <laughs> right now. I'm shooting seniors and bridals every single day because we've got blue bonnets in Texas and everybody wants blue bonnet pictures. Um, so this thing is going in a drawer and not to be used for a long time. So all you have to do is cut them up. Use this hack, cut them up, and skip this step, okay? And you're all set. All right, so that is it for that review which went completely left, <laughs> but maybe we learned something. All right, so y'all have a good afternoon. And honestly, if y'all know of another trick or hack that I am missing or I did this completely wrong, let me know, okay? Because I feel like I've tried everything that I know to do and I could not get that to work right. But I love these lashes. These are the most beautiful magnetic lashes that I have ever dealt with um, because they're so fluttery. Each layer has like double lashed. So it's, these are beautiful. These are so pretty. Um, but you have to cut them up to get them to work right. I do anyway, because apparently I'm a lash klutz. Okay, y'all have a good afternoon and I will see you on the next one. Bye guys.